The subcommittee will come to order. First, let me welcome our distinguished witnesses and thank them for their testimony today. Uh, we invited you because uh, each of you represents a key stakeholder group involved in our nation's rail industry. As you know, passenger and freight rail, coupled with railroad suppliers and union workers, play important and dependent roles in our nation's economy and are vital to its success. As you all may know, Chairman Schuster and I are committed to rail reauthorization this year. I say again, this year. And uh, hopefully this hearing will be a productive start to a bipartisan effort. We need to be pragmatic and transparent, and we'll need uh, all parties to participate in order to deliver the best bipartisan product to the House floor. We want to make it a point to welcome all ideas from many viewpoints in order to make the most robust and comprehensive reauthorization. We thought an educational hearing on our nation's rail industry would be the best way to start uh, and uh, really have a very productive conversation. Railroads are an in integral part of North America's infrastructure network and in turn our economic competitiveness. From the building of the nation's first rail in 1828 until now, both passenger and freight railroads have played a central role in our nation's development. It's important to note that the U.S. freight rail system is the number one in the world, with our passenger rail system also increasing ridership yearly. Our witnesses include representatives of freight and passenger rail as well as representatives of state and labor, and they will uh, describe their independent roles in this important industry. Since I don't want to repeat their testimony, let me be very briefly uh, describe the current federal role in the railroad industry. First, the Federal Railroad Administration, a modal administration within the U.S. Department of Transportation, oversees railroad safety and manages rail infrastructure programs. Independent of DOT, there are three federal government boards, the Surface Transportation Board, which administers economic regulations uh, of the rail, the Rail Retirement Board, which manages rail retirement and employment progr unemployment programs, and the National Mediation Board, which administers the Rail Labor Act to ensure interstate commerce is not interrupted by railroad labor disputes. Finally. Congress also provides support by authorizing and subsidizing Amtrak, which operates intercity passenger rail and owns a majority of the Northeast Corridor. Our goal for this year is to re-examine the federal government's role and discuss and analyze what has worked in the past, what needs to be reformed. The purpose of this is to be an educational hearing, so I ask the witnesses and members to try and save their policy preferences for future hearings. Again, I thank the witnesses for being here with us today. I'd now like to recognize Ranking Member Corinne Brown from Florida for five minutes to make any opening statements she may have. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want